we have it on good authority and on div divine command what we're to do and how we're to respond to persecution, to insult, to uh, attack. We're told how we respond. Meanwhile, civility does not mean lack of prudence or wisdom. It means prepare legally to get ready for uh, uh, our individual liberties to be protected, especially religious freedom, religious liberty. And meanwhile, we just have a duty uh, on the basis of the Sermon on the Mount and the entire New Testament of how we should respond in the midst of this bad situation. And so what I'm suggesting is, as we're being called bigots uh, and that we're using hate speech, that we be clear theologically and personally and in our very persona how we respond to it. You seem to be putting a lot of... I'm putting a lot of emphasis on Christian charity as well. well and, and law. But we seem uh, to oh, no, I, no, I'm putting emphasis on law because we are, as I was suggesting earlier, going to be the victims of lawsuits. We already are. Right. In Oregon and Washington, uh, it's coming. And uh, there are people on the left in the LGBT community who are not going to... They don't like... They, they, they use religious liberty as a scare words when they talk about it on the news. What about putting in judges that were not so liberal? I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm not here to make a case for any candidate, but I'm about to make one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, do we, let me just say this to those, uh, in closing, let me just say, uh, for those people, uh, we were talking about this earlier, Tom, who want to say, it's really not about politics, it's about the culture. We've got to change the culture. My view is it's about the culture and it's about politics. It's really important who appoints the next judges. They will influence the culture. And for people who overemphasize that cultural point, many of them friends of mine, I want to say that racism in the South was not only a cultural problem, it was a legal problem. And some people in the South said, well, this is a cultural problem. It's going to take 400 years. I mean, it's going to take a few more decades. Uh, let's just wait, wait, wait. And Dr. King said in his letter to Birmingham jail, we have waited and waited and waited, and we just need a few laws to change. And when the laws changed, the culture wasn't revived, but it was reformed. And so what I want to say is law and culture work in tandem. And so for your next speaker who comes and just talks about culture, I just remember what I said, law is important also. So that's why I'm saying we need to be, have the best Christian lawyers make sure that our interests are protected and we do it in a loving and kind fashion. Thank you for listening.